Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm here uh, with a berry look today. And a berry look that kept on trying to go rose and then it also tried to go coral on me. So I uh, had to work with a couple of different products to get there, but managed to get there in the end. As far as what I'm wearing, I have the Kosas. Um, and this is uh, their foundation in 110 and has a little bit of a peach base in there. And then as far as what I went ahead and did on the um, on the cheeks, let's see where all my stuff went here. I started out with the Rare Beauty um, Hope and that was a really, uh, it's a light pink but it was definitely the right undertone. And then I went ahead and added a little bit of the Physician's Formula Dream Team, uh, this color right here, and it just took it a little bit too rosy, so I had to step back and punt a little bit and came up with uh, the AOA Lumi. This is their Baked Blush, and this one is in wine, and you can get these over at the Miss A website. And um, so these are going to be, um, they're dollar makeup, but um, like I said, I liked it because it definitely went more berry than my berries were going. So, yeah. Okay. Never mind. Let's just move on from that. And then uh, I have, uh, let's see, the Berries by Juvia's Place and the Berry Palette by Beauty Bay. And so with the Beauty Bay one, I think it's a great palette, but it can go coral and it can also go pink. So I wanted to make sure that I stayed in the berry realm. So I started off with the Berries by Juvia's Place and I started off with this as my base, and then this on the brow bone, and this is actually a duochrome, so it'll go, um, it has sort of a, the flip is going to be a gold, sort of a goldy bronze, and then it also goes to a really purple. So I went with uh, those two from Juvia's Place, and then I went ahead and added in the Beauty Bay Berries palette, and um, I did this one on the inner corner, and then this one on the lid, this one right under the brow, and this one right here um, on the outer corner. So I uh, went ahead and mixed these two and tried to stay berry berry instead of going into rose or going into coral or going into pink. And so this way that the eye look turned out. And I did go ahead and use this Glow Globe by She Glam. And it's supposed to be a highlighter. I don't necessarily use it as a highlighter, um, but I do like the micro shimmer in here. And so I do tap it on my eye just to make everything a little bit more sparkly. So that's what I went ahead and used there. Um, <clears throat> I did go ahead and use the Undone, and this is their highlighter palette. You can get these over at Ulta. And um, I used the pink there, and then I mixed a little bit of the Seismic from ColourPop in as well to go ahead and do the actual highlighting. And this is a really fun palette. It has lots of good colors in it. For the finishing powder, I used the Sungasm by Catrice, and this is their uh, shimmery it's a pink based powder but it's a lot of fun so yeah i've been enjoying that a lot and let's see as far as what i ended up using um i started with pillow talk um by charlotte tilbury but it came off rose and with all the berries it really looked rose and it didn't look quite right so i switched over to the oma um this one which is there it's complicated fast drying. This is the one that you can get at Walmart. And I mixed in the Tower 28 Cashew. So that's what I ended up with as far as that goes. And yeah, I think it came out to be very, very and very, very. So um, as far as the hair goes, um, I did go ahead and use two boxes 
of over-the-counter dye. And when it actually took a couple of days to go ahead and get it out of my hair, um, I did rinse and rinse and rinse and rinse and then took a shower and rinsed and rinsed and rinsed, but um, it didn't work the same way that it had worked before. Uh, now that I've had it for a couple of days and I've washed yeah, a couple of times, it's doing better. Um, it's definitely not as, it uh, it didn't look right. And I have one video that I'm taking down because it really didn't look right. But I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I got when I went and played with berry palettes. And when I tried to stick to berry look, and uh, this is what came or this is what I came out with. Um, I think it's really fun for summertime. It really is. As far as what I used on the rest of the face, Thick It, Stick It, and Light Ash Brown. And uh, NYX on the Rise Mascara Primer. The Double Trouble from Essence as far as mascara. Uh, this one has a brush that has two different sides on it. One is going to be really spiky. And the other one is more of a traditional brush. So you use one side and then you flip it over and use the other side. And then as far as doing the lower lash line, uh, this NYX on the rise, it's mascara primer. And I actually like using this on my bottom lashes. It's just easy and it has some cast oil on it so they don't go all um, like clumpy and, you know, rough and... <laughs> So, um, yeah, I've been liking both of these, and I think that's just about everything, but I um, wanted to go ahead and update you and uh, show you what happened here. So, um, yeah, thank you and have a great day. Bye.